M plus M MX10 Elite. Today we're out here looking at the uh, M plus M Elite rifle. Now this is a rifle that's got a lot of features from uh, the bars from other designs. It's not an AK, it's not an AR, it's not a SIG, but it uh, has some design features similar to all of them, similar to the SIG 550. The uh, AK got some AR features on it. It's mostly more more AK than anything else, I would say. But it's got a uh, adjustable gas regulator on, regulator on it. It's got a good set of backup sacks, machined aluminum backup sacks. Uh, real nice. They're adjustable. Work really well. So you can use them in primary sacks if you want to. I prefer a scope on a rifle. So I've got this uh, five and a half power ACOG on here from Trijicon. Real nice scope. It's got an adjustable stock on this. Which is a real nice unit. You can lock it, unlock it, whatever you want to do. Another thing it's got is the kick ease style. If you'll focus in right here, Boach, recoil reducer on it, where it gives a little when you uh, fire the weapon. So it just takes all the all the kick out of it. Not that there's a lot of recoil in a 762 by 39 anyway. Got a good paddle release. It uses uh, standard AK mags. <clears throat> so uh, most compatible AK mags work. There's a lot of variants in AK mags, but. Uh, uh, these standard AK mags that I've tried in it works really well. It comes in one mag. You can add others to uh, take it apart or clean it or whatever. Push in back here at the back. Lift up. Uh, kind of a FAL style. It's familiar with that or AR style, but more like an FAL. You can pull your gut stuff out of it and work on it. Got a really, uh, really nice trigger in it. And the trigger on this thing, it's smooth. It's like, a, like an AK. It's a little bit of a long trigger. But it's really, really lightweight on here. Come in just under three pounds on here, so it's real nice for doing the actual work off the bench. Or for just shooting, hadn't had any doubling, any problems like that with it. Works really well. The hold grip is real comfortable, finger groove grip. Uh, this rifle's got a full length uh, rail on top of this monolithic uh, upper here. If you can see, it's one piece all the way from the back to the front. There's no uh, hand guard added on. It's got rail here. It's got rail on top, Picatinny compatible rail. It's uh, got the uh, uh, mod style. If you want to put mod accessories on here, you can do that. The barrel pretty much free floating. It's a good piston system. Like I said, it does have an adjustable regulator on it. Shoots really well. Uh, everything I've fired in it so far, which just been like a, a Red Army uh, stuff from Century Arms ammo. Shoots really well in it. Steel case stuff as well as the Corbon hunting ammo. It shot really well in here with the Barnes bullets. In fact, I got some uh, pretty good accuracy out of this. Even with the Red Army stuff, I was shooting sub two inch groups at 100 yards. So I think uh, my average on it was around an inch and three quarters, inch and five eighths. Worked good for three shot groups, 100 yards. So fully suitable for hunting. If you want to take it hog hunting, be ideal for something like that or deer hunting. It's got you know, it's got as much power as a 30 30. Uh, so it'll take a deer with no problem at all. Anyway, it's a real nice rifle. Shoots really well. Functions 100% so far. The charging handle. On the side, works real smoothly, and you can move this from one side to the other. I like it over here since I'm left-handed. Keep my left hand down here, reach the bearing socket with my right hand. We pull it out and put it in the other side if you'd rather have your charging handle on the left side. Anyway, it's a nice rifle. We're going to shoot it a little bit, show you almost no recoil to it, and just have a little fun with it. Let 
Let's go bang some steel in a hundred yards with it. Have a little. This ACOG's real nice. Very clear optics on here. I've used this same scope. Out to 1125 yards on steel before. It really works well for a five and a half power scope. Got, like I said, it's got a good trigger on here. Good running gun. <laughs>